Hi, my name is Jim Kelly. I am a professor with the Physician Assistant Program here at Salis University, and this is Tech Tuesday. So uh, this here is our anatomage table. Our anatomage table is a virtual cadaver that we use to supplement our anatomy course here at Salus. Uh, we use it within the Physician Assistant Program during the Gross Anatomy Course uh, 1 and 2. Uh, and some other programs utilize it as well for different aspects of their own curriculum, uh, particularly the orthotics and prosthetics department. The anatomage table is really helpful when looking at a course such as gross anatomy because it allows our students to look at a cadaver in a different light in ways that allows them to review cross-sectional imaging and also to review some common physiology. So here's one of the examples that we've done in, a, in our gross anatomy lab. So this is an example of cardiac physiology. So over here on this side, you can see a running EKG and that corresponds to this image here on the left screen. On the left screen, it shows us a normal functioning heart as well as normal functioning blood flow. We use this in one of our clinical application sessions so that we can review the normal uh, arterial flow of blood into the upper extremity as well as its collateral circulation with the central nervous system. So here is another example of the utility of the anatomage table. So here what we have is a cross-sectional image that is taken from this virtual cadaver here. What the students can do is that they can move this bar up and down and that will correlate to the cross-sectional image that they have here on the right screen. This is really helpful for students who are starting to understand anatomical relationships and a way to transmit what they're learning in lecture and in lab and correlate it to the imaging that they've also been seeing in other lectures.